uh, Jamaica's own Nesta Carter seem to have tested positive for something. They haven't said what it is. Why is it that if you have some medical condition that is causing you to not function on the track, did it not meet the therapeutic use uh, regime? It mu- that's our speculation. I, I, yeah, right? that's what I, that's what I, I that's what I believe. I think Nesta, whatever. And it might be a long-term thing as well, something that he will probably right. have to take for quite a number of time. It's not like, you know, as we were discussing something in surgery, it would be a one-hour time. It would be something that would be continuously found in his system. And right, so, so it's not know, like he was doing, uh, yeah, and we should break that down because it's to help people. You know, if he was doing an emergency surgery or even mm-hmm. a plan surgery, there's a period mm-hmm. in which if they were to use things, he would have uh, been able to, he would not been charged for, for a violation, a, a doping, anti-doping violation, for sure. When you look at the, ter- the, the therapeutic exemption list, right, and it's there for everybody, right, there, there's a lot of things it covers, right? It covers everything from ADHD to pain, musculoskeletal conditions. So there's a lot of things, even sinusitis and so on. I imagine that if you presented a case, uh, you know, then it should be able to to meet the standards. But you know, well, I we think don't that the mere fact that he wasn't way. able to gain therapeutic exemption would mean that whatever it is that he's suffering from is not on the the list of things that he could get an exemption. So that's your take on it, right? That You're is saying... my take. I think okay. Hmm. For example, I can think of you know certain types of inflammatory diseases where prednisone would be prescribed. Prednisone is not allowed under any circumstances, and prednisone is often taken long term. And so if I'm not saying I'm not a part of Nesta's medical team, I'm not a doctor, but I'm using from my own personal experience that that would be prohibited and I would not be able to get an exemption from it. So, you know, yes, it is a, it's a list of about 20, 15 to 20 disorders or ailments that he could gain therapeutic exemption from, but the mere fact that he was unable to, which would mean to me or signal to me that whatever he's suffering from does not fall or cannot be grouped under any of those 15 things that um, they have allowed therapeutic exemption for. And, you know, in the twilight of your career, you would not want to be hearing that, you know, I've retired and now I'm testing positive after the fact. You know, this would yeah, be that, it, it doesn't really make sense second to me, right? violation if proven true. Um, but he's already retired. So, he, you know, I mean, people come in and out of retirement all the time. So, you know, you think the man is ailing and then put to put insult to injury. Now you're hearing that he tested positive for something that is banned. Maybe it's much ado about nothing. The effect yeah, like when is retirement retirement? Though? That's, all, that's also a question I, I want yeah, to that's ask true, you. you know? We, we go in and out all the time. We think that we're not getting the results that we want. And so, but for some seasons, you know, you have seen where Nesta has not produced consistent results that we would have associated with him. And so I think, you know, he probably called it, maybe some would say late, but he called it. And I think that was a good thing, especially given his health outside right. of track and field. It doesn't seem to be injury related, you know, a hamstring or a quad injury, you know, knee or ankle, those kinds right. of things that are typically associated with um, sport injuries it's clearly something more serious and per- perhaps more chronic than than it, we're letting on and i think also you know to speculate on people's medical conditions um i think it's something that is very private i don't think it's on him to even tell us what it is that he's suffering no from. i agree and I, I i i will say that whatever it is i really hope it's uh he could recover speedily you know i wish him a speedy recovery or if it's something that they have to manage long term i hope mm-hmm. hopefully it's nothing that will cause him any kind of ill help for the yeah, you know, I mean, Nesta has given so much to Jamaica and track and field. Yes, yeah. you know, we have that one instance. But, you know, he's always been a credit to the sport. And so, you know, when anyone, and especially an athlete and, you know, a former training partner does get sick, it does, you know, it does remind you of the humanity. It does remind you that right. it, when you see superhuman performances, you, it must remind you that we too are human and we, you know, we, we do fall, although less, you know, um yeah. susceptible to that you know disease and adverse health conditions can affect us all